Hello everyone. I am Paramita. I am a certified Salesforce consultant and today I am going to discuss about roadmap to learning marketing cloud. Now a lot of people have asked me the question how can they learn marketing cloud from scratch. Maybe you have already few years of experience in Salesforce platform but you are new to marketing cloud, you want to know about marketing cloud, or maybe you are just a beginner in Salesforce and you are interested to learn about marketing cloud. So for those people, I am going to give some tips how you can start learning. There are a lot of resources out now for free, but you need to know how to utilize them. Okay, so those are some things which uh, I am going to discuss today. Hope you will get benefit and if you like it, please give a like on my video and if you leave some comment and feedback, that will be great. And I would like to thank all of you who have already joined and subscribed my channel. Thanks a lot for that. It means a lot to me. Okay, so thank you so much. Now, when we talk about marketing cloud, as I always say that data is at the heart of marketing cloud. Why? Because marketing, we do the marketing. So we have to get the customers or prospective customers engaged with our campaign, whether it's email, whether it's mobile message, post message. So basically our purpose is to get the prospective customers involved with us, with our products, with our service. Okay, so basic, so that's why what do we need? We need to deal with a lot of data about the customers, about the products, etc. Okay, so depending on customers' behavior, sometimes we design our campaign. So we need to understand how we work with data in marketing cloud. Okay, how we how the first of all how the data is stored in marketing cloud and then how we can create different audience segment with those data. Okay, so a lot of a lot of things are there. We can go step by step. So first thing I will tell you still like email is a really, really vital in marketing still now though there are mobile phones a lot of things that they are whatsapp social media but still email is really really important for marketing so first you learn how to create one email in marketing cloud we have a lot of drag and drop tools you don't need to know how to do code but if you know how to do code that's really really advantage you can do a lot of things i'll discuss about that later but first you can learn how to uh, create email okay using our content builder so first thing i will tell you to learn about uh, see here email studio and the content builder okay so this is the things first you should learn i will i, I will explain like about i'll talk about some sources also where you can learn uh, hands-on and you can learn about theories also now as far as email is concerned i just created one video uh, here you can see in my channel how to create an email template okay so it's quite easy and i have discussed in uh, elaborately like how can you use different element of content uh, builder ui here so here I created one email template and I have also discussed why we should create a template. Uh, if you watch that video, you will know more. I'm not telling about that now. You can go and you can watch here. And if you learn this uh, creating an email template, uh, so definitely you will be able to uh, create your email also the same way. Only thing is that uh, instead of creating template, you just choose create message, okay, email message. So you can learn this thing here and then uh, then you should uh, learn how to test the email. Once you create the email, how to test the email. Now for that, your email, if you create one email without any personalization, uh, then you can just the text, the, um, so you can, t sorry, then you can test the email just putting the some email ID, maximum five email ID you can use there. But if you use personalization in email, 
like how to do person how to personalize email i have already discussed here uh, i have created one video here you can see how to personalize email okay how to test email even uh, so when you personalize your email maybe with m script or dynamic content block um, personalization string then you have to create a dummy data extension okay to test your email now how to do this all those things i have this uh, i have already discussed in this video okay how to personalize email how to test email so you can see this so if you want to test a personalized email you have to create a dummy data extension and if you don't personalize your email then for the simple email you can uh, just use uh, email id and uh, and you can test the email after five email id there is option to use now so that's why you need you need to uh, then you need to learn how to create a data extension now another video I created in my last video you can see how to create a Salesforce data extension so uh, I have already shown you elaborately how to create a standard data extension and I have discussed a lot of other few things also data types etc so you can watch this video i hope uh, it will really really be helpful for you if you are a beginner and then uh, you need to know more about the data as i told the uh, different type of data extension they are how to segment the data uh, using data filter or using um uh, automation studio like you can use sql query activity uh if you don't know sql there are a lot of sources out there it's very easy to learn sql you can learn sql easily or uh, if you don't know sql you still you can use the data filter but what happens a uh, lot of times uh, we will need to uh, segment the data using more than uh, two data extensions so that time uh, we will need a SQL query in some uh, SQL query activities in some situation okay so then we have to learn data segmentation uh, automation studio uh, now here you can see on the top email studio mobile studio this is a marketing cloud code by the way so we have email studio mobile studio social, social studio is now uh, deprecated don't worry about that advertising studio web studio so all these things are there journey builder so first we'll start with email studio and content builder okay while we are going to create our email uh, we will go we will create our uh, data extension we will use uh, audience builder also this contact builder contact builder also can be used to create data extension and when you work with synchronized data extension you have to do that in contact builder as well so um, I'm not showing them uh, clearly uh, like one by one because it will take huge time. I'm just discussing like how you can proceed to learn. So suppose you want to learn the whole email studio, whole contact builder, a whole journey builder. Okay. So first start email studio con and content builder, then automation studio and then journey builder. Okay. Because when you use the journey builder, so we have to prepare the data for that. Uh, there can be different different entry point it can be our data extension for marketing cloud or it can be api event it can be from salesforce data a lot of different uh, options are there so we have to prepare data for journey builder so before going to journey builder i will suggest you learn email studio and content builder and then automation studio first okay and content builder also and then go to journey builder so when you start learning there are quite a few resources in youtube you can find yourself also uh, i have found uh, some resources really helpful i'll just show you like like uh, i have a uh, kalon moss's uh, a minute admin he has a lot of videos where he has shown hands-on like how to use email studio okay different uh, uh, different activities in email studio contact builder automation studio different activities like uh, uh, file transfer activities import activities sql query activities all those activities separately he has uh, shown in his uh, channel and journey builder also all different types of uh, activities and message in journey builder he has uh, shown so you can uh, you can uh, go to that channel i will leave the link uh, down and 
then cameron uh, uh, i think his channel name is data rati i will i will leave the link of uh, his channel also cameron he he created really really uh, nice video on different uh, topics uh, i think email studio is also there and uh, maybe journey builder as well um i haven't watched all the videos but a few videos i have watched it's really really uh, great videos uh, mostly i watched like amp script videos from cameron's channel amp, amp script uh, videos he created uh, beautiful like um, excellent videos on amp script and um, now amp script and all um, when you will go for web studio when you will learn amp script we use for personalization in email also and then we will use in um, uh, cloud pages as well web studio and all but before learning cloud pages web studio first i will suggest you be familiar with the email studio automation studio and journey builder and contact builder also okay so this is email studio this is content builder here this is contact builder is under the audience builder and then journey builder okay so before starting other things first be familiar with these three four apis like email studio contact builder content builder journey builder okay after getting familiar with this then you go to web studio that i will discuss later on uh, that is in advanced level i will say maybe i will i will start a series on web studio soon maybe because right now i am working on some uh, developing some custom marketing cloud app so um, i'm researching on that right now so maybe i will discuss about those things later on in some other videos about the programming languages in marketing cloud like amp script ssjs uh, wx proxy uh, etc okay so in this video i am not going to discuss about that uh, in this video i am just discussing about the basic stuff which you should learn in the beginning if you are a beginner in marketing cloud or in salesforce interested to learn marketing cloud i think these are the first things you should learn okay so just uh, see the uh, see the link which i am going to share with this video uh, there i think you will get a lot of videos where you will be able to see hands on how to use this okay so hopefully it will be helpful for you if you have any other question if you want to know about any other topics please uh, feel free to comment if i know i will definitely help you otherwise i will find it out if i don't know okay so that's how i believe that sharing knowledge increases knowledge you know so it's a, it's a win win situation for both of us me i am sharing some knowledge and uh, for you also who is watching this video okay so thank you so if you like please like and share and subscribe my channel for latest update bye bye